this video we're going to discuss the 3370 dollar bill timer box by coin mechanism. The US version comes standard with a 120 volt AC operation. To hook up the timer box, this particular timer box operates off of 120 volts AC. It's pretty simple. You need your main constant power wires to, to operate the timer box. That's basically your, your hot, your neutral, and a ground, an earth ground for safety. Uh, the, the ground wire is the green wire here, and that is typically tied, I mean that's tied internally from our timer box to the chassis ground. The white wire is a neutral wire. That white wire should be common to the device that you're turning on. The black wire coming in is the constant 120 volts AC that is powering the, the timer itself. So these first three wires, the green, the white, and the black, are just your standard, constant 120 volts AC coming from your wall. What we do is when the timer turns on, we switch the hot leg, the, the black hot leg, we switch it back out via this red wire, and it's this red hot wire that goes back to the device you want to turn on. So the red leg is the hot wire that is turning on your device. Again, it should be common with the uh, neutral side of your device also. You can either do that internally here or you can do it outside of this box also. I want to talk about an alternate way of using this timer. And what I have here is an unwired timer sitting above one that's all wired up. We normally route the power that's being used to operate the timer through a common terminal on the relay of the timer and then we take that, that common power and it gets switched out of the normally open contact of this relay back out to your device. However, you don't have to use the same power coming in to be switched. If you want to use this relay, you can use this relay as purely a dry contact relay. And you can hook up whatever you want between this common terminal and the normally open terminal and at the time of vend these two terminals here and here will short out during the vend cycle. You can use that as just a, uh, a pure switch if you want. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful of is that whatever you're hooking up between these two terminals does not exceed 20 amps because these terminals have a contact rating of 20 amps. So. You don't have to switch the same power that's being operated from the timer. You can ask for a dry contact version and you can just use these two terminals to act as a switch for your application. If after viewing this video you have additional questions, you can contact us at the phone number listed here or visit our website.